Hello, this is Josh Wilson from the Eagle One development team, and welcome back to another Sky Fortress dev blog. We made some changes to the grapple to make it easier to use by allowing it to detect nearby edges which eliminate the chances of missing a grapple, something that's especially useful since islands are separated by a ton of hazardous space. Players now have more control over how far they fling themselves. This helps to cultivate a nearly limitless skill ceiling for the grappling hook. There is now a small air boost when you detach from your grapple in order to make reaching above ledges a lot easier. We've increased the air control and acceleration on the base player. You can use this in order to master air strafes and cover even more distance after you grapple or fall. At the top you can see we now have a functioning compass based off the player's rotation. The ping system is being finalized and there are more callouts to choose from. We have watching to notify players that you're scouting, defending for holding positions, enemy when a hostile has been spotted, group up to call for nearby teammates, looting, and a normal ping for generic purposes. The emote menu is now implemented with 9 different menu options, along with 3 different chat messages per emote chosen at random. Our new view model animator, Hayden Cooper, will be making different hand gestures for corresponding emote selections. Here is our fully modeled and textured pistol, the Tempered Tapper by Kabubu, also animated by Hayden. This is the pickaxe model, the heat hacker, modeled by Kabubu and animated by Hayden yet again. We have some concept art done by Pharaoh and 3D blockouts done by Kabubu for our new grappling hook design. Corin, our other concept artist, created a mock-up for our spawn nexus called the Magma Lamp. Here's some concept art from Pharaoh for our next weapon, the Rat Rifle. Here is a work-in-progress magma material that Kabubu has been working on using Alex's base liquid shader. We really want to capture the feeling of a very viscous substance. Last but not least, to tease the first map we want to flesh out, Adori has been working on some concept art for a Greek-themed map. That's all for now, and we apologize for the long wait from our last dev vlog. We prioritize delivering the most content in each update, so we may take some time to release these videos at the right time in our development. If you don't want to wait, you can take a trip on over to our Discord server for live progress updates on Sky Fortress and our other game modes. This has been Josh Wilson with the Eagle One Development Team, signing off. Attention all contestants! Ready your engines! A new game mode is on its way!